Hey, what's up guys? Nooch Neighborhood Picks. Like and subscribe to the channel. Now guys, the most interesting individual race in the NFL to me is by far the, the MVP race. Um, I have a problem with the way everything is going, with the way the media is covering it and, and what everybody's saying of how it's going. I, I don't feel that any quarterback has, has taken over the most valuable player mantle at all in the NFL. I like how Dak Prescott's playing. We know Purdy is, is up there. Now, let, let's just go down the list real quick from the favorites on down. And then I'm going to tell you guys the first thing I thought of, and then that's going to take us back to the 2012 season with the last non-quarterback to win the MVP, which was Adrian Peterson. Um, first of all, let's just go through these quarterbacks and... Uh, we're going to kind of go down the road together on why I referred back to 2012 with Peyton Manning, with his season compared to AP's, why he didn't win it. But hold, pause, as the kids say today, pause. Um, Dak Prescott is the favorite at plus 300. Now, we know Dak is playing great. Now, there's five games left, so let's throw a generous 1,500 yards on everybody's total. And say 12 touchdown passes right so Dak's got 3200 yards if we gave him 300 yards a game every game for the next five games he finishes with 4700 yards exactly if we give him 12 more touchdown passes he finishes with 32 touchdowns now he's the front runner for the MVP right so Dak would have 4700 yards 32 touchdowns, right? Peyton Manning in 2012, 13-3, 70% completion percentage, 4,700 yards, 37 touchdown passes, second in the MVP. Now, it doesn't always have to make sense either because we're going to make this get even a little goofier. Peyton Manning that year, what I just said, did not win the MVP. He won the Comeback Player of the Year. Halt, pause. The MVP that year, the year before, Adrian Peterson's leg blew off in December. It was late December. Torn ACL, MCL, meniscus, the whole shebanger. He was ready for game one the next season, 2012. He was ready. He rushed for 2,097 yards, won the MVP. By the stupidness of the voters, whatever, however this worked, the politics, he did not win the comeback player of the year. <laughs> how, does, like, think, how does a guy who got his leg blown off come back ahead of schedule, rush for 2,100 yards almost, and not win the comeback player? But, but let's, let's stay on task. We're talking about the MVP. So I'm saying Adrian Peterson had a great year that year. The Vikings were 10 and 6. They didn't even win the damn division. MVP. I told you Manning 13 and 3. I told you the stats. Um what 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 warrants an MVP right now? So let's go to Tyreek Hill. Let's compare Tyreek Hill to Adrian Peterson. Well, Adrian Peterson, he didn't break the record. He just went over 2000. Tyreek Hill is on pace to go over 2000. What's the difference? Pause. No receiver ever hit 2,000. A bunch of running backs hit 2,000. Not a bunch, like a handful. No receiver ever hit that. Now, on top of that, if Tyreek Hill breaks the record and goes over 2,000, that's a double whammy. More than Peterson's year in 2012. And the best quarterbacks don't even have comparable numbers to the best quarterback that year. And a third thing for, for uh, Tyreek Hill, what if he's on pace for like, 2,000, high 2,000. What if he gets the 2,100 yards, guys? Are you guys serious? When Tyreek Hill catches a five-yard slant and goes 87 more yards, does that add value to Tua? No. Come on. We live in an every kid gets a trophy error, and uh, it's got to be a quarterback. Is it Dak? Is it per Listen, Purdy... When you're 17 for 20, but 15 of your completions went under four air yards, 
It doesn't have the same. Oh, he's completing 70% of his. Okay, Lamar. He's completing 70% of his passes. I checked his stats. He's got 13 touchdown passes, guys. MVP? Are we gonna are we gonna dumb ourselves down? Are we gonna are we gonna take that word and make it ordinary? The MVP is exactly what it means. The most valuable player. Tyreek Hill is at plus 1500. I just told you Dak's playing real good. I got him as the front runner right now. He's probably playing the, the most outstanding quarterback that I've seen. But is this the most outstanding quarterback award? Purdy, low air yards, great team. I don't know, MVP. Hurts, not his best season. Mahomes, not his best. Tua, I just told you who's the most valuable on the team. Lamar, 13 touchdown passes. We're going into we're in December already. What are we talking about? Tyreek Hill plus 1500. And then you really want to put stuff together? Who's leading the NFL? In passing right now, C.J. Stroud, he's got 3,540 yards, 3,540. Throw 1,500 on his total, 300 yards a game for the next five. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's 5,000 yards. Give him 12 more touchdown passes. He's in the 30s. Now, let's say Houston in the standings, they're 7-5. and five. Miami's 9-3. and three. What if Houston wins that division? And Stroud goes for 5,000. And, and, and everybody else stays down. I'd rather have my chances with him if we're going to take a long shot. Those other guys, unless somebody separates in the season, this week, next week, all the way to 18, they have to really separate themselves. Because if they all stay the way they are, and Tyreek Hill does something no one else has ever been, how can we not make him the MVP? We got to think about this one. Leave it in your comments. Let me know how you feel about it. I love talking sports. I'm Nooch, Neighborhood Picks. Like, subscribe, share. Give it a share.